Hey, what is up, Job Squad? How you guys doing in the flu? In I hope you guys don't have the flu, cause if you do, that would really suck. Ha ha ha, he he he, ho ho ho. Okay, uh, that's my song for the uh, day. Uh, for the evening smackdown is here. Uh, I just want to point out. Let's go to the calendars uh, We have gotten rid of NXT NXT is now a standalone product on the channel. It'll be its own universe mode uh, So basically I've got two universe modes going I just did that so that way I don't have something breaking up raw and smackdown because raw and smackdown kind of go hand in hand um, Not so much in the way that the rivalries take place on the same shows, but they do take place all on the same pay-per-views so uh the fact that nxt had their own separate pay-per-views their own separate rivalries that were taking place on the separate pay-per-views i decided that we would do a standalone of nxt um so let's go ahead let's jump into smackdown i want to play as edge this week because that is our main title match and we've got um we've got the money in the bank pay-per-view coming up uh, once again, I'm not sure how the money in the bank works when there's two shows, so uh, we're going to find out. I don't know if there's one or two ladder matches. I'm hoping there's two, but uh, if there's two, then we're just going to throw a SmackDown ladder match together. Uh, we have been qualifying people on Raw. Um, I believe Rusev and Cesaro are both in, which kind of, uh, we've only got one week left. But let's go ahead, let's simulate some matches, guys. William Regal. I don't know if he won or lost, but Billy Gunn has been named the new number one contender after a strong showing in a non-title match against champion William Regal. So, oh, William Regal did win, but uh, Billy Gunn earns himself a number one contendership. I almost said a number one contender spot. JBL losing to Curtis Axel. That's a shock. That is a surprise right there. Uh, Sin Cara. And Kalisto losing to the Ascension. Zack Ryder losing to Christian. Zack Ryder, the number one contender over at NXT. Hello. Hi. Uh, Kane. Hostility is starting to grow between rivals Sheamus and Kane. Kane won. Kane beats the other red monster, Sheamus. Two big red machines. All right. So our match, Edge Booger T. The main event of Thursday Night Smackdown. I should have went with the older um, entrance. The, uh, what am I looking for? What am I trying to say? The fist. Or the other one. I feel like I, in, in WWE 2K14, I used the Attitude Era one. And in 2K15, I used the fist. So maybe this year, we just go normal. Oh, we're in Nashville. Here comes Edge. The rated R superstar. We should put Leo with him. We should get him a, uh, a manager. I don't like that jacket. Um, it's a little weird, but it's alright. He's the champion. He does whatever the fuck he wants. Fireworks! You know, Edge is one of those guys that, um, when he was around, I really took him for granted, I guess. Because once he retired, it was like, oh shit, Edge is, uh... Edge is gone? That kind of sucks. But, uh... Alright, I think we've watched enough of this. I think we watched enough of that. Booger T's entrance is next. Two of the best entrances, I think, in the game. Can you dig it, sucker? Did I miss it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I did. Ba -na 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 -na. I just like the fire. I just like when he does this little jump thing and he gets the fire. Here it comes. Boosh! You know, you can't see him jump, but he does do the jump. He does it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right, here we go. The Booger versus the Edge. We're going to play as Edge, as I said before the match started. All right, here we go. Just a good old-fashioned lockup. I start a lot of my matches quickly uh, with, like, a, a brutal beatdown. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm just over here fucking trying to find it. Uh, there we go. Oh, he punched us in the face. Oh, what an asshole. Now you're getting a kick in the dick, and we're going to lock up again. I'm telling you right now, Booger, I can beat you in this chain wrestling stuff. Get in there, ref. Come on. I think it takes the ref too long to get in between us. Oh, ref, did you see that? Yeah, that's a closed fist. That's bullshit. Take a fucking heel to the face. How about that? Huh? You don't like that, do you? What's that sign over there? Oh, that's Booker T. Five time. Champion. Hoo ah! Boosh. All right. I would have liked to spear him off the uh, off the apron, but I don't think that's possible. 
into a flaming table. I think uh, I think Edge and McFoley did that at what WrestleMania 22. Oh wait, we're not supposed to have weapons. Never mind. We're gonna just drop. Well, let's take it into the ring. Let's see what happens if we if we mosey on in here with a with a weapon. You want to take this away, Ref? Yeah, I didn't think so. We're not gonna use it. I don't want to get disqualified. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If we just so happen to not be able to beat Booker, then maybe we'll use it. But that's not a tactic that somebody like Edge would use. Especially not heel edge, which I think edge is a baby face. Oh, and the referee slides it out like a, like the, like the little baby face he is. You like that accent? I like that accent. All right, come on. What are you doing, book? Trying to assault us? All right, come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah, reversed it. Oh, we reversed it on you. He he he. All right, and reversal. No, okay. And he's going to send us into the other corner. Into the other corner goes Edge. Booger T hits the clothesline in the corner. Edge falls to the ground. Here we go. Boy, oh boy. This is a very provocative move right here by Booger. That's my announcer voice right there. Oh, Booger T. Lifting him up. Edge with the takedown. Here we go. Edge now with the momentum. Edge is in the favor. Edge is in the favor. What the fuck? What are you talking about there, Jimmy Jam Jam? Jimmy Jim Jam. Oh boy. That is the name of me as an announcer. Jimmy Jim Jam. Jimmy the Jim Jimmy the Jam. Jimmy Jim Jew. Jimmy the Jew. Jimmy the Jim Jew. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm just saying J words that go together. Oh, big boot. Who knew that Edge had a big boot in him? Oh, he drops the elbow. Edge is feeling it. Get the fuck up, Booker. That's what he's saying. He's saying, get the fuck up so I can beat your ass German. Edge doing his best Booker T. Not Booker T. Brock Lesnar impression. Sorry, I get my B's mixed up. Oh, here we go. Oh, is he going to hit it again? Oh, no. Edge. Oh, that's two. That is two German su <coughs> suplexes. I'm choking on my saliva. All right. I was trying to go for another German, and he fucked it up. Thanks, Booker, you ass. All right, here we go. I keep on saying, here we go. That's a reversal. That's a reversal if I've ever seen one. That's a reversal. There it is. There it is. Oh, we, have, we have all the control now. All the control in the world. All right, so. Maybe we should have played as Booker. Got him some... Oh, we got another SmackDown before Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank. Shorty, what'd you take? Money in the bank. Okay, here we go. Oh, Edge! That was supposed to be a German. What the fuck happened there? Oh, Edge's not feeling it. Edge is out of stamina. Get to the rope, Edge. All right, there you go. Yeah, just get up. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. Here we go, German. Nope. Edge loving the Germans here tonight. Booker with a suplex of his own. Whoa. Looks like Edge is not so much the suplex machine anymore. If you remember, Edge at one point was uh, close to Kurt Angle, both Edge and Christian. Uh, close with Kurt Angle when they were Edge and Christian. Um, back in the old days, the Attitude Era. So that's obviously where, where Edge has learned. Uh-oh, that's bad. He just reversed my signature. Uh, that's where Edge must have learned his, his ways of um, suplex city bitch all right we we're getting out of this there it is all right here we go we're getting up gut gut shot there we go and boom big fist my bad my bad if you're wearing headphones i didn't mean to scream that loud it just kind of happened all right here we go and he reversed it oh no that's bad Okay, now he's got a signature. We gotta reverse it. There it is. Oh, we hit him in the fucking face! Or in the back of the head, at least. I wish there was a replay on that. I wanted to see that. Uh-oh, he just missed. Boom! Big fist. Here we go. Hit the move. Just hit the move. Here we go. Snap. And we're in a headlock. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Yeah, wrench it. Just wrench it. Hit him in the fucking chest. All right, we got it. Nope, he's got it. He's got a, he's, he had his beat on that one. There we go. Oh, he's out of it. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Well, we've got some stamina back. That was a rest hold. We rested ourselves. Now we've got some stamina back. We're going to hit him once. Drop kick. Pick his... Oh, no, we're not. Nope, we're going to corner. We're going to hit him. Get the fuck out of the way, ref. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Can I just run it? There we go. There's the spear. Oh, and the ref... What? Wait, no, we took him down. What the fuck just happened? What a joke. Did Booker T push the referee in the way? Booker T pushed the referee in the way. The referee took the spear. He hits his signature on us. But we're not quitting there. We're not quitting there. I'll tell you right now, though, if Booker T hits the scissor kick, it's game over. We're going to drop him on his silly little stomach. Pin him. Just pin him. Tire him out. Here we go. Get some rest. One, two, and he's going to kick out. Yeah, we know. We know. Booker T pulling out all the stops by pushing the referee in the way to take the spear there. Despicable. A despicable act by a despicable man. That is not how you win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Booker. Okay? You win it by competing at your hardest. You win it by uh, fighting with honor and respect. Let's be honest. There's a lot of champions that have not won it by doing those things. All right. Edge hitting the second rope now. Edge not giving up. He missed the spear on Booker, but now Booker is paying for it. Booker T, if he could hit the scissor kick, this one would probably be over, though, because he already hit his finisher, his signature, I should say. Now, Edge, it looks like Edge is going to go for it again. Okay, I want him up all the way. Thank you. Nope, that's not what I wanted. He's going to reverse. Shit. Oh, shit. There's a DDT. I don't know why I keep on doing accents. Oh, God, he's preparing for the... Oh, he's, he's going to hit the bookend. He's going to hit the bookend. Oh, no, he's going to hit the scissor kick. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, it's over for Edge. The champion Edge is down and out. Kenny kick out of this one, though. Oh, it does not look like Edge is victorious here. Booker T sneaks one out. Pulls out all the stops. The despicable Booker T pushes the referee in front of himself to take the spear. Edge not happy about it. And uh, believe me, I wouldn't be either. Booker T, you are a... You are a disgusting act. You are a dis you are a disgrace to men everywhere. Edge's frustration is growing after losing to Booker T. Of course it is. He didn't deserve to lose. He had the match won. And Booker T made the referee take the spear. Booker T snuck out of SmackDown with a championship victory. Not a championship victory, but he beat the champion. And if that and that's the kind of acts that Booker T is going to be looking to to take at Money in the Bank, then we may just have ourselves a new World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe, maybe not. We're, I mean, you're going to have to wait and find out. Of course, we've got the Go Home Show next week. I don't know why I'm going all the way around. Next week, Monday Night Raw, the Go Home Show. We've got Kevin Owens versus Rusev. One man's in, the other man. Not so much. Can Kevin Owens earn himself a way into the match? Good golly, good gosh, I hope so. Neville and Bray Wyatt going at it once again. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd versus Big E and Kofi Kingston. Uh, Seth Rollins and Daniel Bryan are going to have to coexist against the Usos. Can they do it? Can they put their differences aside for one night and take on the Usos? The, I was going to say, like, the bad guys, but they're like the ultimate baby faces. Randy Orton and Roman Reigns going at it. One of the two men are going to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Which one earns himself a spot? And last but not least, Shawn Michaels versus former champion, former partner of D-Generation X, Triple H. Will Chris Jericho show up and cause Shawn Michaels to lose? Will these two men be able to face each other without feeling bad about it? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and find out, guys. Make sure to watch Monday Night Raw. It's actually... I'm pretty hype about this one. This is a pretty good match up of lineups, a lineup of matches. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but I want to thank you all for watching. This has been your boy until. Bye. I was to say, I don't remember now.
I'm just going to kind of wing it from now on because I don't remember. Anyways, guys, so uh, Universe Mode is back, episode 38, I believe. Tonight is the night of champion of champions. We are going to play a match. I don't know what I want to play yet. So we're going to go ahead. Let's simulate a few things.